Hello viewers, welcome back. A weird one today, but I'm currently selling my house and to do that, I'm having to do some last minute projects. I'm selling my house quickly, hopefully, to buy another building that has a time clock on it. So I'm having to rush and do some things. Among the several things I need to do to sell my house, I needed to build a custom, well, just some stairs uh, out of the back door, coming out of the kitchen, down to the new patio that I built. So. Do you want to watch me build a set of stairs in like six, six hours? hours? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Strap in. That's what you're watching today on Lift Arc Builds. Yeah. Just want to sell my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is just sad. <laughs> Okay, interesting little build. So, I am selling my house. It's a beautiful little house I've lived at since 2016. Five car detached garage, well three car detached garage, two car attached garage, two acres of land, three bed, two baths, single level ranch, open floor plan kitchen and living room, brand new roof on both buildings, new patio, new front porch, recently renovated bathrooms, the lot. It is currently on the market as of the filming of this video. Currently, it is Tuesday, October 3rd, and it's been on the market since last Friday. It's been shown a lot. Several interested parties, three or four more showings coming up in the next day or two. But I am, uh, you know, I've had to do a lot of work to the house to get it ready for sale, as one does. I finished a lot of stuff, but I'm getting a lot of feedback from realtors about some missing stairs on my back patio. So I used to have an old rotten wooden deck on the back of the house and I ripped that off because it was rotten and claustrophobic and I have recently completed a new patio. But there was a, <clears throat> there was a door coming out the back of my kitchen that used to go onto the deck, but now that the deck's not there, that door leads to a three foot drop. So I'm getting a lot of feedback that uh, people uh, would like to see those stairs, especially people that are not handy. It's something I knew I've been having to do, but I ran out of time. And so now I'm having to rush and do it based on the suggestion of my realtors and because I need this house to sell quickly because I have other plans. So I have a metal staircase at the shop. It's like six or seven steps worth of metal stairs that I got from Aaron's uh, old shop, the Maker Mart. And my plan has always been to just cut a section of those metal stairs, alter them a little bit, and secure them to the back of the house, thus creating some stairs under that door where we need stairs. So that's the plan. That's what we're gonna do today. Hopefully get them installed tonight. I need to move very fast because there are showings being scheduled every day. And the sooner I get the stairs up, the quicker I can mitigate negative feedback about there not being stairs. And who knows, that might lead to somebody uh, pulling the trigger on the house. So anyway, I will see you when we get to my house and I'll me be measuring for the stairs. See you in a second. So here we are. You saw the drive in in a little bit. This is the property. This is why I bought the, the house. Three car detached garage, two car attached garage, two acres. And uh, this is the backyard. This is the patio that I just recently did. I'm quite proud of it. The deck was here and you can see that floating door. So. This is where I need to build the stairs. So I'm gonna measure some things, take some pictures, and then head back to the shop. Excuse me. I'm gonna start by drawing this L, basically. And so I'll measure from up there. I gotta cut these studs off. But I'm just drawing that simple little shape and I'll dimension it. So all I really need to do, because I'm gonna modify some existing stairs, all I really need to know is my rise here. Looks like. 28, so 28 
from the surface of the patio to the floor. And that is the floor. That's really the only measurement I need because the stairs are, they have their own angle. So if I draw a 28 inch vertical on the table and figure out the distance that already exists between the stairs on that staircase, between the treads, the rise, and then just make sure that the first step from here is the same as the existing spacing between the current treads. So I'll cut these off. Oh, let's see, I might as well get the width. I got a 36 inch opening. I'll take some pictures. And then, yeah, so we'll have a plate, a plasma cut plate that allows me to anchor the stairs into the wall. And then we'll make some feet, probably with some pads that will land on the pavers. And that's all I need to know. So this should be a quick fix. Might as well show y'all around the property since I'm here. This is the backyard. So I've got a little shed, got about an acre back here. It goes all the way down to the tree line and all the way over to that house over there. Got some lights back here, sweet black dog salvage fire pit. This is a look at the backside with the patio and everything. Of course, over to the garage. Walk this way. You've got a nice little side yard with some different grass. I kind of love the grass over here. Side yard to the neighbor's house. At the end of the house here, the master bedroom window is right there. That's a guest bedroom. And then you come around to the front yard, you got about another acre up here. The whole, it's 2.2 acres, the whole lot. So you own all the way down to the, to the road. And then this is the front of the house. So bedroom number two, bedroom number three there. Just redid the entire front porch, columns, a lot of the trim work around here, all replaced and repainted including a new ceiling new concrete was poured about three or four years ago i still got this funky front door that i didn't have time to replace but you know if that's somebody's make or break then i guess i'll be replacing a front door uh, i got the stairs here little tay white side 2018 when i did the stairs and then a little walkway Got dogwood trees all the way up one side of the driveway, which looked beautiful in the spring. And front porch comes back around to uh, the two car detached garage, which I will open real quick. Built in 1978. Got this lovely two car attached garage, storage room, laundry room and then you come in here this is the living room that you walk into so mantle rear real fireplace sunken living room beams so brick and wood paneling a while ago i painted the wood paneling uh, this brighter color which looks better got this cool exposed brick dividing wall here that goes back out to the back porch Come up here, you got slate all the way around, and then hallway, and then kitchen. So kitchen has been more or less redone. Got this uh, live edge slab from Bill St. Pierre forever ago. It's a big slab of oak. So we replaced the bar top and got this cool light fixture that built on Salvage Dogs when I was on that show a long time ago. And Grace, my, my sibling, blew these. She's a glass blower, blew those. And then this is the kitchen that we redid in like 2017. Painted the cabinets, new granite countertop, floating floor, a little piece there, an island here, new cabinet hardware. But these corner cabinets, uh, I never got around to putting back on when I painted them and they've since been thrown away. So I need to measure these uh, dimensions so that Aaron and I can make some new corner cabinets. So there, and these are Lazy Susans, so these things spin and allow you to store all sorts of things out of the way, but then be able to get to them easily. So I'm gonna measure for these, hopefully they're the same, and then Aaron and I will spend some time tomorrow night and make those anew, and then match the, uh, the hardware. I had them, I took them off, I had them repainted, I had some runs and I needed to sand down and refinish. That was when I was working at Black Dog. 
something happened. I guess time got away from me. I left them in the finish booth. Years went by. I ended up leaving Black Dog and who knows? They're not there anymore. They've been thrown away. So time to make new ones. So I'm gonna measure for those as well while I'm here, like I said already. And then, but that'll be probably another video. This is the stair video. And that is just about everything I will be doing to this house. Past that, maybe the front door replacement, but you know, the patio kicked my ass and we did a, did a vague bathroom overhaul. So new paint in here, took the wallpaper out, new sink, new light fixture, and new flooring in here to modernize it a little bit. We still got an old green shower, but it is very clean and some green uh, tile remnants from the old 70s stuff. And then of course you got hallway, you got a bedroom there, bedroom here, and then master bedroom in here with a in ensuite bathroom and a tile shower. That has been very nice with a ceiling mounted fixture because I'm very tall and it's very nice. So yeah, and then nice views out the window. You know, you got the side yard, you can see the backyard. It's, you know, starting to become fall here. So it's very beautiful in Southwest Virginia. That's my house. If it's not sold by the time you're watching this video, it could be yours, buy it. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. It's 12.45, there is a showing at 1.30. So I need to be gone and I got work to do. See you back at the shop. I'd show you in that garage, but my key is in the lockbox. And these days the realtors use these fancy Bluetooth lockboxes that only realtors can get into. So I can't even put in a combination and get the keys to my own house out of the lockbox. Isn't that fun? So uh, I was gonna show you the race car and stuff in there, but I can't. Anyway, back to the bat cave. Thing. That is a rotary table from the machine shop. It's a big -a boy. It's Could be yours. Star be some stars. Oh. What's up, Steve? Uh, stack. Ooh, brought a stack. Some matzo. It's Ingrid good stuff right there. Lovely. Lovely. Love the texture. Yeah, cool. This, this is gonna be the last one. Because this one is starting to, this one's got a crack on it in this thing. So this will be the bottom step. And then we'll go up from here. So like I was saying, at my house. Whatever this height is seven and a half inches. So that's where I'm gonna start from, from the floor, the threshold of the door. I'm gonna go down seven and a half inches and then that'll be the first, the top stair. And then the bottom will be terminated just wherever the bottom gets terminated. So I'm gonna start mapping that out. Essentially, I'm gonna slice 
like right here above or maybe this one above here and then I'll need to make some brackets to or, or a plate several plates maybe to screw it to the wall <clears throat> I may draw something up in CAD real quick the easy way to do this would be to lock this one in place and pick this side up until one of the treads is level and then that shows you the angle that it prefers probably just see that this $30 angle finder from Amazon is great Eco. it was either this one or the $280 Stabila made in Germany Thirty, forty. Nothing big to Yeah, pretty common. Forty degrees. Most stairs are between thirty-five and forty degrees of decline or incline. It's time to do some math. Stand by. I still like Fusion better, Spike. Because I'm a dumb dumb and Fusion no. is for dumb dumbs. No. I've got Tad. Fusion. I like Fusion better. Me too. Let me go see if I'm in fact a dumb dumb. Yeah, it's weird how wide they are, but how stacked they are. Yeah. It's like a ship and stair. Yeah, it's gonna be steep. I mean, it's. 43 degrees versus 37 degrees. So how steps right. these, it's six more degrees steeper. It's 43. Yeah, that's that's real steep. I mean, if there's no code, I would just keep the full step up here. Yeah. I mean, there is code, but I don't think it applies. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and slice right where this, start fresh on this one. <whistles> cut that, cut the 90 back. Yep. And then just be put a piece of work from there. Despising me. Yeah. All right, you talked me into it. I'm gonna go redraw it again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
right, back at the house. It is 10.06 and I got the stairs, I got some tools. I didn't have time to paint the stairs, but I'll just paint them in place later. And as I showed you, that's where they're going. So I got into my garage, got some extension cords, gonna set up a work light that I brought with me. And let's get these bad boys mounted, huh? Yeah, then I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm tired. All right, let's see. I do not have a tape measure with me. You go look around for something to shim. I was actually able to get in my garage because one of my three bay doors wasn't fully latched. So I solved the realtor lockbox problem. So let's see, I'm gonna look around for something I can use to shim. I hate shimming things. It's sort of an indication that you didn't measure very well, but a slope this way on stairs is really hard to account for. So let me see what I got laying around. I, in my haste to clean the house to be shown, I threw away just about every bit of my construction materials. Oh, really coming down to the wire here. But I got to shim something because when you have brick lines to go off of, you kind of can't mess it up. Needs to be up a little bit more actually, and that piece of bamboo is not long enough. So I'm gonna keep looking. Uh, change of plans. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this thing black just because it'll look a lot better. I love the architectural brick color, but there's a lot of exposed metal that's gonna rust as soon as it rains. I also found a quarter inch sheet of ABS plastic that I'm gonna use my table saw and cut shims. Plastic won't rust or rot and it's black. So I'm gonna put this thing in the yard, spray a coat of paint on it while that's drying, fire up this little table saw I have and rip some plastic. 10.25. All right, while that paint's drying, I'm gonna chop plastic up. I ordered this forever ago for something that I never ended up using. This is a sheet of quarter inch black ABS. And behind me is my late Uncle Craig's Craftsman table saw. Let's hope this gauge is accurate. That's good enough. Fired up. It's drying probably slowly, but that's all right. Let's set the light back up over here. Get ready to install this mofo. We got steps, y'all. We got steps. I can't tell if I like them or I hate them. If I think they look good or if they're ugly. But I took a metal staircase. I started at four o'clock. I took a metal staircase from some old building and turned them into a new staircase for the back of my house. Could it be better? Absolutely. Can you now get in and out of this door? Yes. Is it the ugliest thing I've built? Not quite. I'd ask you guys what you think, but I don't really care. Buy my house. Like, subscribe, 
follow, comment. See you on the next one. Bye. Oh, God. Thank you.